Midjourney just released the alpha of their long-awaited version 7. But does version 7 return Midjourney to its prior position of dominance in the image generation space, or are they just going to be another victim of ChatGPT's 4.0 image creator? With version 7, Midjourney needed to solve several major problems, and candidly, they didn't. There are three reasons why I'm saying this, and I'll show you examples of each so you don't get caught up in the hype. Basic text and images is not going well for Midjourney 7. It's one of the things Midjourney needed to get right because tools like Ideogram and ChatGPT 4.0 are dominating this use case. So let's compare. This is Midjourney 6's response to the following prompt. A hyper-realistic photo of a professional man working in a modern office. In the background, the company name Lawton Solutions is on the wall. Notice the word solutions is spelled incorrectly with version 6. Midjourney 7 runs into the same problem. Meanwhile, ChatGPT 4.0 is getting this right just about every single time. So that's one strike for Midjourney. Next is human features, particularly hands and feet. One of the greatest tests of this is the POV perspective. A first person point of view from the perspective of a baby waking up in a crib with only the baby's forearms and hands visible in the image. Midjourney got this difficult prompt right two out of four times, which is actually a vast improvement as this prompt used to be a nearly impossible image to create. ChatGPT made a mess of the first attempt as the baby is missing its body. In the second attempt, the baby's head is visible and it isn't actually inside the crib. I'm betting I could improve this prompt and get Midjourney and ChatGPT to create a better version of this image. So Midjourney gets a pass on this one. Lastly, let's talk about displaying multiple objects in a picture. Create an image with the following 20 objects. So then you can see here that I list a bunch of totally unique items. Midjourney 7 did a better job of this compared with its past versions. It only duplicated a few of the objects on the list, which was a common problem in the past. And it got most of the objects right, though it only did 12 instead of the 20 that I requested. ChatGPT 4.0 did a much better job with this image. There are no duplicates and it created 15 images that are all correct. Okay, one more example, the infamous analog watch problem. I was really hoping version 7 of Midjourney could tackle this one, but it simply can't. And neither can ChatGPT 4.0. I'm really hoping the beta and production releases of Midjourney version 7 improve upon these problems. If they don't, I can't see Midjourney surviving in this hyper-competitive market, particularly when new, cheaper products are coming online every single week. Follow if you like this type of content, and I'll see you next time.